Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Baruch coming at you on a amazingly stormy, rainy Wisconsin Sunday afternoon. I hope you guys are doing well. So, um, I am smoking in my King's Cross here. My lovely uh, French-made Algerian briar. I have, uh, oh, I forgot to bring it down. You can't see it. The, the bag's up there. It's the Yulee's Blend number 114, um, which is meant to be a lighter English in their blending cellar. Never had it, never have. Which brings me up to one of the things I want to talk about before I talk about how I feel about this tobacco. YTPC jargon, language, lexicon. Um, so there are some really uh, unique and colorful people on the YTPC. I love it. Um, I won't try to imitate Padre Piper's opening, except that he sounds like a very enthusiastic Jack Kennedy meets, I don't know, a preacher. Um, which is really funny because he doesn't have the Boston accent. There's something about his cadence. I love it. Um, but as far as the never had it, never have, I don't know who originated that first. It makes me think of Justin Taylor but I think I've heard Old Berg say it too. Old Berg obviously has one of the great, incredibly identifiable openings in his videos with the tuba tuba. <laughs> Again, not gonna try to actually do anybody's voices here. Um, I just have really been enjoying it. But the thing that I wanted to point out is I've been seeing some of these turns of phrase and some of these uh, expressions and even, I don't know, the, the tone, the cadence, um, kind of picked up by other people in the YouTube pipe community that I follow. And I'm really enjoying that. I think that's great. That, um, that really tells me just how much we're all influencing each other. Um, for example, okay, so Peachy's 13, one of the most watchable channels in the YouTube pipe community. They are so blessed to have those trains going by behind them constantly. Everybody loves that. And I've seen people from Harriet Herfer to, I don't know, I've seen, I've seen at least four videos where somebody references that. or there's noise in the background or something and they comment on it well you know this is a shout out to the peachies um i love that that's one of my my favorite things everybody is really having a big impact on each other and i love that so as far as language goes uh one of the most common things that i've encountered here in the ytpc is the expressions of fraternity. Love, love the, the, the brotherly fraternal nature, regardless of sex or gender. Just the sheer warmth and love that's expressed in the YTPC. I, I think that's amazing. Down from the language to the sharing and gift giving, uh, the contests, the video responses, it's amazing. But right there at the top of all of that is um, variations on people using the term brother, um, especially in the written comments. But you'll, you'll hear it a lot in the, uh, in the videos too. Um, I don't know, maybe as a West Coaster, I've not been quite as comfortable 
referring to people here on the YTC as brother, written or otherwise. But I, I have noticed that I've started, especially in the written form, like when I make comments to people, referring to people as Ahi, um, which depending on how you want to spell that in English is either A-C-H-I or A-K-H-I. Uh, and that middle sound is kind of like the end of my name, Baruch. Uh, it's, a, it's a guttural sound. It's the back of the throat. It's the same sound that a German speaker would use to make Achtung. Uh, or someone like me might use at the beginning of a word like Hanukkah. <laughs> or Hanukkah. Now, I am generally more comfortable with people turning that sound into a K than the H. I would much rather hear, like, you know, kala for the bread instead of challah, as instead of hala. Uh, I don't know, that H is just, takes all the life out of a word. So it's not ahi. If you can't make that sound, it's aki. So it means brother. Ahi means brother. Uh, literally, it means brother. But the nature of Hebrew, especially modern Hebrew, is it doesn't have a huge um, number of words. It's a very small language in lexicon. The dictionary is very small. Uh, so words take nuanced meanings instead of being specific. So Aki means brother in the literal sense, but in a slang sense, it, it, it's used kind of like dude. Um, you know, hey dude, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so if you see me or hear me use that term in reference to you, you can just replace the word with, with brother, um, if you're more comfortable with that. Uh, so, oh, and then the other thing I wanted to bring up, um, since the very first video, and I didn't plan it out, it's just something that's natural to me, uh, since the very first video, I have ended every video with the phrase, sei gesund. And I should say that I am not, I'm not an Ashkenaz, uh, and you can Google what that word means. Um, I, I'm not an Ashkenazi Jew, therefore Yiddish is actually not my language. Uh, most American Jews are Ashkenazi, um, and so Yiddish at some point was part of their their cultural heritage. It, it was never part of my cultural heritage. Um, but I have always liked and used Zeigesund as a, a goodbye. Uh, it literally, you know, anybody who has heard somebody wish somebody Gesundheit when they sneeze know that it has something to do with health. Uh, Zeigesund literally means be well or be healthy. Well, literally it means be healthy, but it translates to like be well. Uh, and you'll hear me say be well too. Uh, a lot saying goodbye to people. So, in case you've ever wondered what what I'm saying at the end of my videos, you know, when I say like stay smoky, sei gesund, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm wishing you good health and well-being. So there you go. So uh, enough of that prattle. That's uh, about eight and a half minutes of me talking about nothing in particular. Uh, I just thought that was interesting. So, Yuli's. Blend 114 is technically in English. They actually, I've read that in its history, it used to have burly. It doesn't have burly anymore. And I've also read that it was a combination of two other blends uh, originally. And it was meant by Jack Yuli, uh, I believe, to be a more approachable or lighter alternative to their serious, serious, smoky Englishes. So it does have a great deal of dark leaf in it. Here we go. I um, don't know how well you can see it, but you can see how dark it is. There's a few different hues in here. There's some gold and some brown, uh, some red, and then these huge dark chunks of Latakia. Um, but smoking it, 
Latakia is not its main flavor. It's very present. Yeah. The first thing that hits me is it's very lemony. Um, not in a super acidic way, but uh, it's very noticeably lemony. And after a few minutes of smoking it, then I started noticing things like plum. Uh, and it does have Perique in it. So, let's see, it's Latakia, Turkish, Perique, Virginia. So, the lemony note is not a surprise. Though it is um, a little more lemony than, than I would normally expect. expect. I, I'm thinking that's the Virginia and the Orientals kind of playing off each other. Um, definitely has um, an earthy hay quality to it, though that's not a main thing either. Um, it's just a very pleasant smoke. Now, originally, Jack Yuley, like there's quotes on some of the, the um, stuff about this blend, about how this, he said this wasn't an everyday or all day smoke. And I would disagree with that. I actually find this, um, this right around the intensity of saying, of say, uh, Early Morning Pipe by Dunhill, but not quite as peppery or spicy. I find uh, Early Morning Pipe to have a little bit of black pepper to it. And this is uh, a lot more lemony and uh, a lot more like plummy, figgy. Um, and I would say this is, this is an all day, every day smoke. If I had like a work at home office kind of thing, yeah, this would be something that would be uh, in my pipe, you know, through probably a good middle portion of my work day. Um, so anyway, I find this very pleasant. Not particularly intense. I find it a bit mild uh, for, you know, what I was expecting it to be, especially looking at the color. It's very nice. You can see the, the smoke of it's pretty good. And it's got a very pleasant retrohale. A um, lot of fruit in the retrohale, really. So there you go. Yuli's Blend 114. Uh, for those of you who didn't see my previous videos talking about Yuli's Tobacco Shop, it's a local brick and mortar here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Right on the water. Um, it's a shop that's been there since the 30s, and it's only had two owners. Um, it's a great place. They're not, they don't order online. But you can give them a call, and their website is, is on the internet, uhle.com. Anyway, have a great Sunday. Stay dry. I am going to sit here and listen to the sound of rain on my garage and enjoy my pipe. Be well. Stay smoky. Zeigesund.